would you like to create a new habit easily, comfortably, and to give you more possibility and choice? We're going to learn that today. Hi, I'm Christine Cummerford, Leadership and Culture Coach for Smart Tribes Institute. Let's talk about how to forge a new habit. Let's talk about myelination. So let's first figure out what you would like. So for example, maybe you want to handle pressure more easily. Maybe you want to inspire and innovate uh, more innovation in your team. Maybe you wanna increase your presence. Maybe you wanna boost your executive presence where people you lead, people want to follow you. Maybe you want to listen better when you just feel compelled to speak. So myelination is a process that really is key when we want to forge a new habit. Um, neural pathways are uh, gray matter, okay? And white matter is myelin, and it's called myelin sheathing. Think of it like the plastic coating on an electrical wire. And when we take a new neural pathway to forge or to create a new behavior, and then we coat it with myelin sheathing, we actually take that behavior like from dial up to broadband, think of it that way. So here's how it works. So when we practice something deeply, not to the level of trauma, but there has to be some struggle, okay? Like say that you're learning the piano or you're learning a new language, you're learning how to use a new piece of software, you're learning how to use a new app, any sort of thing that you're learning, okay? When we do some struggle, uh, in our brain, oligodendrocytes, astrocytes fire off and they can say, hey, time for some myelin sheathing. The physiology is struggling, let's help it out, okay? So when we start to forge new neural pathway by learning a new behavior, uh, it's okay to have some of that struggle, right? Now, when we get that myelin myelinated pathway, and I'm gonna show you a really cool process in just a sec, again, that behavior, that new habit will fire 300 times faster. So here's the thing. Behaviors are like grooves in a record, right? Repeated behaviors. Daniel Hebbs discovered this. It's called Hebbian potentiation. When we have a repeated habit, we get a deep groove. This is why talk therapy can be problematic. It can just keep making that groove deeper. This is why we use neurolinguistics and neuroscience to forge instead new grooves that we use more deeply. So the record needle, if you will, <laughs> goes over to those new behaviors. So here's what we do. So we wanna first try a new behavior and persevere through the uncomfortable part. That's most important, okay? It's like lifting weights maybe isn't that easy when you move to a new weight. You've gotta persevere through that discomfort to start to forge that new pathway, okay? Do that new behavior repeatedly. See here, feel yourself having that new behavior, okay? Your subconscious mind doesn't know if you're actually doing it or imagining it, right? This is why athletes will often run the race in their brain, smelling the field, right? See, feeling the sunshine shining down on them. They will be um, seeing the track in front of them. They'll be feeling that powerful feeling and their subconscious mind doesn't know if they're running or not. So here's the thing. You've got to go in deep when you do myelination. So for instance, we will take our clients into what we call a desired state. We'll have them sketch out a desired state. You might want to look at our um, outcome frame infographic that we're going to put below. Create that desired state, that what you would like, right? You need to step into that desired state powerfully. Create an image of that desired state. Remember again, anchors and our uh, other video on anchors, visual, auditory, kinesthetic. Then you need to replay. I really prefer five times a day intensely. Intensely, you're going into that new behavior in your mind and we're forging that new neural pathway. Then what you'll find, if you do this five times a day, first thing when you wake up, last thing when you go to bed, a couple times in between, you're only gonna spend maybe a minute diving into that new desired state and really seeing, hearing, feeling it, you'll find that that new behavior becomes a default. So you're gonna learn more about this. If you wanna do a deep dive, you can learn about this more in our book, Power Your Tribe. Enjoy the infographic below. 
and let's start forging new neural pathways. Thanks for joining me today.